now this is a uh, uh, ts3 question number 66 paper 1 i have already uh, discussed question 64 and 65 it's a passive based question so uh, you have to first of all go through 64 and 65 to um, say question 66 now in this case like gx function is given like this and this one is difficult than 64th and 65th so uh, again uh, we consider function hx which is gx minus x square or, or basically we can first of all see g of x1 we can consider this later main idea is to understand the, the to find the simplified value of g of x1 and it will come out to be in this case x1 square g of x2 is x2 square and g of x3 is x3 square now how we replace x equals to x1 we replace uh, x equals to x1 here now g of x1 equals to you can see this part becomes 0 if I replace x by x1 right x1 minus x1 is 0 so this becomes 0 now in this case uh, this becomes x3 x1 into x1 minus x2 whole square divided by x2 x3 x2 minus x3 x2 minus x1 plus x1 x2 x1 minus x3 whole square over x3 minus x1 into x3 minus x2 so you can see this this question is uh, difficult because you, you, you if you just look at this expression it's difficult to get an idea that it will be simplified to x1 square that's how why it is difficult so we write this as x2 minus x1 we can write this because it's a perfect square and we cancel this with this we write this as x3 minus x1 and there's a perfect square so we can do that so we can, after that we cancel this with this so it is x3 x1 into x2 minus x1 divided by x2 minus x3 plus x1 x2 into x3 minus x1 divided by x3 minus x1 so if we take LCM it is x2 minus x3 multiplied with x3 minus x1 in numerator we can uh, take x1 common right and x3 minus x1 will uh, sorry I cancel x3 minus x1 not this one so left over is x3 minus x2 when we and I take LCA right so uh, s right so it is x1 x1 x3 into x2 minus x1 into x3 minus x2 plus x1 x2 into x3 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 now you can s see we can take x2 minus x3 common after taking minus common x2 minus x3 common and then uh, also x1 common x1 common and x2 minus x3 common left over is minus x3 x2 plus x1 x3 on in this side this is gone x2 minus x3 is gone out x1 is also gone out x2 x3 minus x1 x2 so you can see uh, uh, there's a when we take x3 minus x2 common to the minus sign outside so we have minus x3 x2 plus x1 x3 and when we take uh, x3 x2 minus x3 out we have uh, x2 x3 uh, so minus sign problem oh, so th we cancel this with this sorry I couldn't didn't see I we cancel this with this right so then we have x1 x2 minus x3 uh, we did know we had a number also and we take x3 common x3 common if we take from uh, from these two we take uh, from these two we take x1 common in leftover is x3 minus x2 if we take x2 common and denominator you can see is x2 minus x3 into x3 minus x1 x3 minus x1 cancels out with this and this cancels out with this so the simplified form is x1 square so you can see that uh, there are so many steps involved to simplify this expression that's why it's difficult to see that g of x1 is x1 square so now we do the same thing we assume function hx 
एस जी एक्स माइनस एक्स वन स्क्वायर सॉरी माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर एच ऑफ एक्स वन इज जी ऑफ एक्स वन माइनस एक्स वन स्क्वायर एंड जस्ट नॉ वी एस जी ऑफ एक्स वन इज एक्स वन स्क्वायर एक्स वन स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वन स्क्वायर इज जीरो सिमिलरली वी कैन शो एच ऑफ एक्स टू इज जी ऑफ एक्स टू माइनस एक्स टू स्क्वायर एंड जी ऑफ एक्स टू इज एक्स टू स्क्वायर एच ऑफ एक्स थ्री इज ऑल्सो जीरो सिमिलरली वी कैन शो एच ऑफ एक्स थ्री इज जीरो सो एच ऑफ एक्स वन इज जीरो एच ऑफ एक्स टू जीरो एच ऑफ एक्स थ्री जीरो सेम एच एक्स इज अ पॉलिटिक पॉलिनोमल विच इज जीरो फॉर थ्री वैल्यूज ऑफ कैन सी इट्स अ पॉलिटिक पॉलिनोमल डिग्री टू एक्सप्रेशन विच इज जीरो फॉर थ्री वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स दैट इज ओनली पॉसिबल वैन इट इज एन आइडेंटिटी एंड इट इज जीरो फॉर ऑल इनफाइनेट वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स राइट सो इट मीन्स एच एक्स इज जीरो फॉर ऑल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स दिस मीन्स जी एक्स इज एच एक्स माइनस सॉरी एच एक्स एस जी एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर और वी कैन से जी एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर